Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules is the second Wimpy Kid live action film. This was released in 2011. This one is directed by David Bowers. It's written by Jeff Judah and Gabe Sachs. Based on the books, of course, by Jeff Kinney. And we have Zachary Gordon as Greg, Devin Bostick as Roderick. We also have Robert Capron as Rowley. And I have seen the animated version of this, so I was aware of the narrative. And it's a very strange experience because I'm watching scenes in this and I've already seen those scenes, but I've seen them in the animated version. But it's my memory is kind of filling in the gaps and making it seem like it's seen the live action version. Very bizarre experience, but really thoroughly enjoyed it. This one is about the relationship between... Greg and his older brother Roderick and they get into a lot of sticky situations but as the film goes on Roderick begins to realize that maybe Greg isn't all that bad and Greg realizes that actually Roderick might be willing to help him with various things and I don't want to say too much more about that but I will say there's a lot of variety in this there are a lot of different scenarios the brothers find themselves in all kinds of different situations which really helps to keep the narrative quite fresh and interesting Roderick is also really likable, eventually. He's definitely not very likable to begin with, which I think is kind of the point. But as the film progresses, he becomes he becomes more human, in a way. To begin with, he's just a very stereotypical teenager, completely fitting that mould. But as it develops, he has a much more personal personality and, and characteristics that are perhaps unique to him. And, and I really thought that that was done very well. The pacing of the narrative is really great. The performances are really enjoyable. And I think it's a, a very well done narrative. I don't know how it compares to the book, but it is quite similar to the animated version. So I'm assuming that both are, are quite like the book. But if anybody has any thoughts on that, please feel free to share. I liked it though. I had good fun with this one. And it's a really beautiful look at the relationship between siblings and if you are an older sibling or a younger sibling I think a lot of people will be able to relate to this in one way or another but also there are just some general good life lessons in here as well I enjoyed it I'm looking forward to the next one I haven't seen the next story in any form so I have no idea what to expect but for now I'm pleased to say that Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roderick Rules was really thoroughly enjoyable and I'm very happy to recommend it